Being a former nanny and personal assistant to the Kardashians is a job not everyone can hack. For Pam Behan, she only needed five years under the Kardashian employee to get all these secrets. Before we spill the deets, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's get started. Perfectionist Chris Pam Behan worked for Kris Jenner as her personal assistant and nanny for five years. She revealed in her interview for the upcoming show, Scandal Made Me Famous. Pam revealed that working for Kris was no walk in the park. According to Pam, Kris was a perfectionist and she expected perfection. Being a perfectionist is a must when you're handling a family of Hollywood stars. Every day, she would have a long list of tasks for Chris. They included things like cooking and caring for the kids. Part of her job was to shuttle Kim, Courtney, Chloe, and Rob to their events amidst the LA traffic. Because of time constraints, not everything on the list would be finished. That was when Pam would get quite an earful. When asked about Chris's outburst, the ex-nanny said she still has respect for the momager. At first, I used to be just crushed when she would speak to me like that. But she vents, she speaks what's on her mind, Pam said. She adds, Chris wasn't easy to work for, but I did enjoy my job. At the end of the day, Pam remains a fan of the Kardashian family. I liked Chris and I respected her many reasons, she says. Uncle OJ When Pam Behan was working for the Kardashian family, one of the most famous murder cases hit the news. She revealed that the Kardashians were close to Nicole Brown Simpson and OJ Simpson, and the news shocked them the most. Kim, Chloe, Courtney, and Rob even referred to Simpson as Uncle OJ. The Kardashian kids knew Nicole Brown Simpson as their mom's close friend, and learning that she was murdered was very shocking. It was worse for them to find out that their Uncle OJ was a suspect. The Kardashian family, according to Pam, was concerned with how the children of Nicole and OJ were coping with the horrific situation. The ex-nanny recalled that the Brown kids, Justin and Sydney, were close to Rob and Chloe. She and the two Kardashian children went to stay with the Brown family for a few days after the incident. Pam never forgot this, saying it was just to give the kids a sense of more normalcy to play together again. Robert Kardashian famously represented OJ Simpson in the trial, where OJ pled not guilty to the murders of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. Whether the Kardashians' uncle OJ is guilty or not remains a mystery to many people. Super Organized Rob When Pam Behan started working for the Kardashians as their nanny, Kim was only 10 years old. Caring for four young children would be daunting to any 19-year-old, but Pam rose to the occasion and luckily for her, the Kardashian kids were quite well-behaved. Pam, in an interview with Celebs Now, says she was nervous to handle the children since they were all still so young, full of life, and running around. She even admitted to being a wreck on the first day. But I found my groove. I had to, she tells Celebs Now. Pam Behan revealed that Rob Kardashian, the only only boy among the children of Chris and Robert was a good kid. She adds that he may have been almost too good, so you'd be worried about him. She then describes his daily activities, which show momager Chris's perfectionist influence. Rob was highly organized as a child. After school, he'd come home, sit down, and do his homework. Pam adds that after he'd put his things away, he would go in his room and pick out his clothes for the next day. He was so organized. Then, after that, he would play. This display of discipline is amazing for any kid, let alone a spoiled Kardashian. Responsible Courtney When compared to her ex and father of three children, Scott Disick, it's not hard for Courtney to seem like the responsible type. But apparently, former nanny Pam Behan also noticed the same thing when Courtney was a child. She tells celebs now in an interview that Courtney always seemed like the most responsible. Being the oldest Kardashian child, we don't see this as much of a surprise. The eldest children in a family tend to be the more responsible ones. Today, many fans consider Courtney to be the most level headed and responsible one among the Kardashian siblings. She's always dishing truth to Chloe and Kim, keeping their feet on the ground despite the fame and fortune. But when she was growing up, it took her a lot to warm up to new people. That included Pam Behan. According to the ex-nanny, Courtney was a little standoffish for a long time. We can easily chalk this up to adjusting to a new woman in the house. This may be especially true since Pam came right after Chris married her second husband, then known as Bruce Jenner. Courtney may have had a lot to get used to at the time. That being said, she still acted like a normal sister. Pam recalls that Courtney and Kim would fight over clothes a lot. The Importance of Kim's Looks Kim Kardashian gets a lot of flack for being narcissistic. After all, who else publishes a whole coffee table book full of just their selfies? Kim apparently took her first selfie in 1984. Selfies weren't even a thing yet, and Kim was already taking them. And it's clear from Kim's actions that she cares deeply about how she looks. We don't think she'd also spend that much money on her face and bod if she weren't a little vain. According to Pam Behan, Kim has always been about her looks. Even when she was just 10 years old, the ex-nanny told celebs now that Kim spent the most 
time in front of a mirror. Kim may have been young, but she may have already seen the potential of her looks despite not being an actress or singer. Pam adds, Kim's looks were very important to her even back then. Perhaps Kim was also contemplating getting plastic surgery done, but her baby photos aren't as awkward as most. Despite Kim's vain and shallow exterior, Pam Behan still has kind words to share about Kim. She says Kim was actually a pretty sweet girl. Even fans today will attest to this. Chris accepted Caitlyn. On Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chris was often shown being very domineering towards Caitlyn. Especially back when Caitlyn was shown as Bruce, Chris always seemed to nag and boss him around. Pam Behan revealed a lot about Chris and Bruce's relationship in an interview with Celebs Now. Pam started out working for Bruce as nanny to his children, Brandon and Brody. They are the children of Bruce and his ex wife, Linda Thompson. Pam says that she developed a close relationship with her former boss, who often confided in her during his depressive days. Bruce would even tell Behan about Chris when they first started dating, wanting them to meet. When the couple got married in 1991, the ex-nanny started caring for Chris's kids instead of the Jenners. She says that Chris knew early on about Caitlyn's gender identity. I believe Chris was very accepting, Pam told Celebs Now. I believe she knew all along. Behind closed doors, she was accepting. Despite the acceptance, Pam also knew that the marriage was over long before the pair separated. She said the fire in their marriage was gone a long time ago, even though Chris and Caitlyn were still living in the same house. Courtney didn't like Bruce. Many teenagers are defiant and rebellious. When big things like divorce or parents remarrying happen in a teen's life, you can surely expect resistance. Back when the Kardashians were children, they were going through a number of things. Chloe, Kim, and Rob were quite young at the time, but eldest child Courtney was old enough to understand the situation. Courtney was around 12 years old when her mom Chris married Bruce Jenner. Almost a teen at the time, it's not hard to understand that she wasn't very accepting of her new stepfather. Chris's marriage to Bruce wasn't long after she divorced Robert Kardashian. So when Bruce entered the picture, Courtney wasn't as open to the idea as much as her siblings. According to Pam Behan, Courtney hated Bruce when she was growing up. She would constantly say that he wasn't her real father and would refuse to take any of his advice. Kim, Chloe, and Rob would treat Bruce with respect, but not Courtney. Bruce, however, wasn't phased. He knew that Courtney had reasons for resisting his involvement in the family. Instead of pushing Courtney away as well, he decided to wait until she got older and was more open to their situation. Now the two have a civil relationship. Failure talk is banned. Kris Jenner believes strongly in achieving and winning. Being the perfectionist that she is, it was clear that one of her top goals was to be extremely successful. After all, being successful means having the best for you and your family. This was important for both Kris and Bruce, who wanted nothing but the best for their children. But they also instilled in their family the value of hard work and perseverance. Quite inevitably, the drive to achieve also brought about competitiveness and rivalry among the Kardashian siblings. This is seen in many episodes of keeping up with the Kardashians. It might even be why Rob tries to stay out of the drama as much as possible. According to Pam Behan, talking about failure is completely banned in the Kardashian house. In her tell-all book, Malibu Nanny, The Adventures of the Former Kardashian Nanny, Pam explains that nannies were absolutely banned from talking about failing to the children. This was one of Chris's strict rules for the nannies who handled their children. She may have subscribed to the belief that talking about something often will lead to its fulfillment. Judging by the entire Kardashian empire net worth, it's safe to say that this family hasn't failed financially. Matchmaker Chloe Time and time again, Chloe keeps proving that she is the spunkiest and realest of the Kardashian sisters. Kim often steals the spotlight as Chris's favorite and the most marketable of all the sisters, so Chloe shines in other ways. Chloe is known for always spilling the truth tea and keeps it honest with everyone in the family, even with Chris. Apparently, Chloe has been keeping it real ever since she was a child. Pam Behan revealed just how honest and awesome Chloe is. She said in an interview with Celebs Now that she spent the most time with Chloe. Chloe. Pam said she's a feisty one, but I like her honesty. It was clear that Chloe and the ex-nanny formed a special bond. When Chloe was just 10 years old, she started playing matchmaker to Pam Behan. Pam shared the story in her tell-all book, Malibu Nanny. She wrote that Chloe would constantly try to set her up with various men, most of which were too young, too old, or not her type. But Chloe started taking horseback riding lessons and would always gush about her instructor to the nanny. Pam never really gave it much thought until she saw the riding instructor for herself. According to to her, he was drop-dead gorgeous. Image is everything ever since they were kids. Many think that the Kardashian empire started out by accident. Many only knew Kim after her tape with singer Ray J leaked. But 
But if you think Kris Jenner only started capitalizing off of her children after the unfortunate leak, think again. Kris has been building the Kardashian brand ever since the kids were born. According to Pam Behan, image was everything for Kris and her family. She wrote in her book Malibu Nanny that the show Keeping Up with the Kardashians should be renamed Keeping Up with the Joneses. Kris always seemed to be rubbing elbows with people that were somebody. Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Robert spent time with friends whose parents were celebrities or people in the limelight, she writes. This may also explain how Kim Kardashian got her job as Paris Hilton's personal assistant. And it also explains how Kim, who was a supposed nobody at the time, ended up dating a singer like Ray J. Pam goes to say that she believes Chris was grooming her children for the Hollywood celebrity status their whole lives. Chris would always make sure that her children wore the cutest and perhaps most expensive clothes. Even at a young age, Behan wrote, their image was being carefully crafted. We dare say it worked, and it's a trait that the Kardashians are passing down to their own children. Which of these reveals shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco. Thanks for watching.